Guys, I was wrong about Sadhguru. I've posted two videos exposing Sadhguru for what I thought were flippant, arrogant, nonsensical and dangerous attitudes towards animals, as well as what I thought were some outdated, poor attitudes towards women. What can I say? I was wrong. Sadhguru's fans and followers have really helped me to see the light. Thank you for never giving up on me. Thank you for guiding me. Your comments telling me to f off, calling me dumb, calling me an idiot, threatening to beat the f out of me, really showed me the path to enlightenment, the path to a higher understanding. When Sadhguru said that cows should be worked, whether it should be milked or not, whether it should be worked or not, I'm sure the next thing is the bulls are drawing the cart, activists are coming and saying, they're doing very cruel, these bulls are being treated very cruel, they're drawing the cart, flat ground, put ball bearings, easy, brakes and everything so that it's not very hard on him, but he needs to work. If he doesn't work, we will just keep him and you will feed him, but the thing won't work, so we will leave him. Where will you go? Straight to the slaughterhouse. He was just showing us how much he really cares about cows. By supporting an industry that profits from manipulating their reproductive systems, treats them like commodities, like objects to be bought and sold, this is just Sadhguru showing us how precious he truly believes these animals are. Can't believe I didn't see it before. When he mocked a woman in front of a large crowd because she was asking him about the dairy industry, when he used his power and influence as a religious leader and guru to make her feel uncomfortable, making jokes at her expense, getting the crowd roaring with laughter at her. Milk is coming from the cows, which is a very torturous way. How old are you? I'm 32. Oh, too late for milk drinking. Uh, Silver, I didn't understand. <laughs> then you can drink milk. He was just showing us how much he loves and respects women, and also how comfortable he is to face questions that highlight his hypocrisy. His jokes and laughter towards this woman were in no way an attempt to discredit her views. This was just Sadhguru's enlightened energy coming through, because this is how all enlightened people deal with questions that they're not comfortable with. When Sadhguru joked about animal abuse, laughing heartily at the idea of people saying they love animals and being kind to animals, but the next day eating those same animals. I love to eat, but <laughs> I'm an animal lover too. So that's why you eat them? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, people say, I love my food. So you love animals, so you put them in the food. Even I've seen people talking to the chicken and all very nicely, and next week they'll eat them up <laughs> He was just showing us how much he truly cares about animals. Anyone who truly cares about someone's life makes jokes and laughs about their horrific abuse and death. That's just how we show we care, or at least, that's how a truly enlightened person shows that they care. This whole time, I thought I was watching an arrogant, deceitful fraud manipulating audiences with pseudoscientific, irrational nonsense, when in fact, I was actually watching a modern day Jesus Christ. His followers aren't a cult of small-minded, brainwashed, abusive assholes. No, their constant and predictable outrage, insults and threats are just a sign of the incredible impact that Sadhguru has had on their lives. Because only the truly enlightened, spiritual, compassionate and loving attack people with insults, hatred and threats when their beliefs are challenged. Sadhguru has shown multiple times that truly enlightened people don't need to justify their actions. They don't need to answer direct questions with direct answers. And of course, anyone that doesn't agree with them is just simply not enlightened enough to understand what they're saying. Quite clearly, their opinions are wrong. I have reached a higher level of understanding. I am awake. I now understand that everything that Sadhguru does or says is correct that my puny mind will never be able to understand why, and that I just need to accept that, as I also accept every word that leaves Sadhguru's mouth. Joking about killing animals and encouraging people to support the abusive dairy industry that exploits thousands and thousands of cows every single day is what compassionate, loving, truly enlightened people do. Namaste.